In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to design a logo with text around a circle using Adobe Illustrator. Let's get started. So I've opened Adobe Illustrator and I'm going to click new file, letter size, and I have a blank document. First, I'm going to use a circle and I'm going to use the type on a path tool to design my type around a shape. So starting with a circle, let me zoom in just a little bit. I'm going to use the type on a path tool. I'm just going to click into my shape onto the edge. It's going to put some lorem ipsum around my shape. I'm just going to go ahead and type the company name in all caps right here. I'm going to open up my character panel, increase the size quite a bit. I'm also going to change the font. So I have a font that I'm going to use called Lulo Clean One Bold. So I'm going to reduce the size a little bit. In these types of badge logos, I really like to have lots of tracking between my letters in my logo. So I'm going to select optical here. I am going to just add some additional tracking to this logo and this type. Let's do 200. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, and I like to make sure that the letter forms are symmetrical on both sides. If for some reason they're not, you can see these little horizontal lines when I have this selected. This is where you tell Illustrator where this text should start and end. So you can move this around as you need to. And if you had a lot of text, you would also need to move this ending around the side. I also want established in 2023 to go along the bottom. Let me show you how I would approach doing this. I am going to just copy the shape that we've already done. And I'm going to type out my text. So established 2023. But I want it to be at the bottom. And I don't want it to be around the shape like this. I don't want it to be upside down because that is hard to read in my opinion. What you can do is you can move it to the bottom and then you should see a little line somewhere in the middle of your text. And I can see it right here. Let me zoom in. If you just grab that little line, you can pop your text inside the shape and it pops it the right way. And then you can also move it around. So now it's on the inside of the shape put these next to each other. I want all of my text to be on the outside of the shape so it's all on the same baseline. Currently it's on the same baseline but this text is on the inside of the shape and Surf Hawaii is on the outside. So the way that I can get around that is using our character panel. You can change the baseline of this text to a negative baseline. So I'm essentially moving the text beneath the baseline using this tool right here. If you don't see all these extra tools that I'm using, you can go to view or hide options and you should see them here. I'm going to use the align tool. I can see that my, when I line these up, they're a little bit off. So go to window align and with both of these selected, you can just align the objects on the center. So that perfectly aligns these two circles. I'm quickly going to make my document bigger so we have a little more space to work with. This text is kind of floating in the air. I feel like it needs some anchoring, so I'm actually gonna use another circle. I'm going to put a circle on the middle of this. Also, I think around the edge, just to give this type kind of a container to sit inside. I'm gonna make the outside stroke just a little thicker. I'm gonna use my align tool just to make sure all of these circles are using the same axis. So back to window, align, and just aligning them to the center. I want to add an icon to the middle of this on the Noun Project website. I found this icon of a wave. By the way, the Noun Project, it is a great free place to get icons. You just have to sign up for an account and then you can say get this icon, do a basic download for free, and you can download vector files of awesome icons. So I'm going to download an SVG. That's a vector format. I'm going to open this up in Illustrator. I'm going to then copy it into my file. So I now need to combine these two and I want this shape to look really nice inside of our black here. I'm going to make this icon white 
and I'm just going to place it inside on top of my current logo and just kind of see what the placement feels like and what feels right size wise. I kind of like these curves going along the curve of our circle. I like it being a little off center too. I think that's kind of nice. I have all this extra stuff hanging off the side and it's kind of interfering with my type. I'm going to copy this over to the right and I'm going to use my Pathfinder tool to actually cut off this extra stuff over here. Under Pathfinders, there's this little option that allows you to essentially cut a graphic. And you can see here, it kind of shows like two graphics overlapping and they're cutting each other. So I'm gonna hit that. It separated this little tail over here from the icon itself. So now I just need to delete this little extra stuff. And now that looks pretty clean. That feels like a combined icon. I'm gonna delete these shapes and now put over my cleaned up icon over here. I'm gonna use the align tool again. So back to align, go to window, align. I want it like to the center everything. The stroke weight is kind of thick. And then I have this stroke on the outside of my icon that's much thinner. And then this type is pretty thick as well. I'm just gonna bump the stroke up on the outside to match something in my design. So it needs to match either the thickness of my type or this wave outline thickness. So let me zoom out of that. That's feeling kind of nice. You know, I have this empty space on the right and left right here. I sometimes like to just add a little circle. It kind of feels like it's a nail or something that is holding all this together. So I'm just gonna add this little like dot on the sides. It kind of adds something cool. I like this icon a lot. It's got our wave, it's got our type, it's got a shape that it's all enclosed in. I would also like to colorize this. I'm just gonna copy it beneath. Surf Hawaii, I immediately think of lots of blues. I'm just gonna make a couple swatches with the rectangle tool. Right now I'm just gonna use RGB colors. And using this little color picker down here, I'm just gonna drag it along some of our turquoise blues until I find some colors that I like. So let's do a swatch similar to this. Um, see that one's a little more blue than green. And then again I'm using RGB. And then let's do one that's even like a darker, deeper blue. Out of all these colors, I'm really feeling the turquoise the most. I'm going to select my black here and using the color picker, pick this color. I use my closed arrow, so you might have to go select individual shapes when using the color picker. I'm also going to do this outside stroke. Also going to fill all my type. So it's really gonna be one color logo. So select these little guys them with the same color. So that's how you design a logo with type going around a circle and creating a badge type logo. Follow Cry Studio for more graphic design and Adobe Illustrator tutorials. Thanks so much!